Okay, um, first step for us is to remove the golf cart uh, from the garage and uh, this currently the batteries are uh, locking up the engine brake. So what we have to do first is uh, pretty much to get into the, uh, um, into the control panel, uh, put it uh, in tow and switch connectors to release the brake, otherwise we wouldn't be able to uh, move the golf cart out of the garage. So it's already in tow here. So we push these clips. Uh oh, one fallen off, which is okay. And we will need to remove one more clip, I think. Or maybe not. Okay, here we come. And now we're going to replace um, connector number number three with connector number number one so you're going to unplug connector number three right here that is plugged into connector number four it's done and now we're going to remove plug number two and now we're going to connect connector number three to connector number one right here did you hear that sound so that was sound of uh, of brake being uh, released and now you should be able to move our golf cart with no problem after putting the key into neutral you can probably you probably don't see it but i just put a golf cart into neutral so we, to remove the electrical cables you need to be very careful so as you can see i'm wearing protective glasses and i'm also going to wrap my uh, 916 uh, range with this masking tape to prevent any you know um, uh, any uh, sparkles <laughs> from the batteries while i'm doing it because you can see there's a frame right here and it's it could be potentially dangerous so i'm going to wrap it with masking tape and then i'm going to the first i'm going to do is to remove uh, uh, wires from the negative terminal okay so and now we are ready to go so this is going to be our first connector that we're going to remove. We should be as safe as we can be with this insulated range. And carefully can release the nut and start removing the wires. is removed now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to put this tie up through um, through the inlets that are connected to this negative terminal I'm not sure if you can see that but uh, uh, let me just carefully remove those connections and show you what I'm doing so you can hope you can see So this way we can ensure that we, when we start assembly back, we know what was connected to positive, what was connected to negative, so we can disconnect any unnecessary wires. So for now we have the negative side disconnected, we are going to go with positive one next. So next we are going to disconnect positive terminal. Okay, that was easy. Just remove the nut. Again, get ready with our tie up.
and do the same thing. We just go through. This way we keep them together and you can, it will help us later on to keep it uh, all intact. So next thing would be uh, removal of the wires that connect uh, batteries with each other, battery bank with each other, and then removal, remo remo removing the batteries themselves, which could be, you know, if not the hardest, but the heaviest task. So now as I removed wires from negative and from positive terminals, you can see here and there as well, I'm going to remove all these wires connecting uh, on the battery bank together. There are a total of three wires, as you can see there is some heavy oxidation uh, here, but I uh, you know we don't care because we don't really go, we're not really going to reuse those because we are replacing this entire bank with a single uh, battery. So let me start. Uh, removing this, uh, these uh, wires one by one, be as safe as possible doing that. So we just removed the wires and uh, as you can see, um, they're sitting right there. Next, we're going to remove uh, all these uh, nuts that keep this entire cage in, in place. So and uh, for this operation, I need a half inch uh, nut. Okay, now we need to remove this metal bracket and I use a T50, uh, looks like it's one bolt on each side. Here's the bolt, I was able to get it out. Now I need to do it on the other side. Okay, I just removed a, a side a bolt over there and now this metal bracket comes out. Okay, now um, I got this um, nice handle that I can use to pull out batteries and again they're very heavy so you better make sure that you're, that you're very stable and actually use both, both hands to pull them out you don't want to drop them and do it one by one okay as you can see we just removed the battery they were pretty heavy but not too bad now it is actually a two-man job so I highly recommend two people doing it for safety. Now, as you can see, uh, there is uh, um, acid all over the place uh, that came out of batteries. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to mix baking soda with uh, water, probably 50-50, and spray and uh, wash it. Just, uh, sprayed it and now we're going to rinse it up. So this is pretty much it for today. We were able to remove the batteries and uh, clean the compartment.